I started playing defender actually, center back. But then one tournament, our goalkeeper wasn't allowed to come to uh, come to come to the game because of his grades. His parents didn't allow it, um, so we were kind of scrambling for a goalkeeper, and uh, I just volunteered, and uh, I did well, and I liked it. So uh, my coach decided to just keep me there, and. Uh, yeah, the story is written. Uh, Steph and I have known each other for a while. We're both from Pennsylvania. He, when we were younger, he played on a team called Westchester, and then I played on PA Classics. And uh, we've just grown up uh, with each other. He's just become a great player. I mean, back then he was known as one of the better goalkeepers, but I mean, he's kept it um, going for him, and uh, he's definitely consistent with his play and become a vocal leader. If you're a forward, you can hear him, you know, he's the leader at the back of the line, so. Yeah, the 2013 uh, group was great. They were very professional. Um, I definitely learned a lot um, about how to conduct myself on and off the field. And then rooming with Cody Cropper for qualifying for a month during the World Cup was also good because he was a professional and he's, he's a great guy. Um, I learned a lot, he taught me a lot, and he was very wel welcoming. First time I worked with Seth was going into qualifying. About a week out, he came into camp, started working with us. He got in with Kendall and, and Cody Cropper, the two, uh, the two senior goalkeepers from that age group. And um, he really fit right in. You know, tremendous work ethic, great athletic ability, a good understanding of the game at the time, and very hungry. It was just crazy, uh, the speed of play, the, uh, the talent that was out there, the hard work that we put in. It was a whole new level. It was definitely a little tease, and now, now it's nice to finally have my shot. Maryland was awesome. Uh, I loved every second of it. I learned a lot. The guys there, the team, they're awesome, and they'll be some of my best friends for life. Yeah, it was a hard decision to leave Maryland. I knew it was time to move on, and I needed to be pushed and tested uh, more to expand my game. Freiburg was watching me for for a little while, so they contacted me and they wanted me to get, go over for a trial. And they finally came out with a with a deal that was something I couldn't resist. Yeah, I, I think Zach's proven now that he needs to play amongst the best in, in the world in his age group. I mean, that's the reality of his situation. He did a, he did a great job in college, um, at a great program, and for him now to really, I would say, accelerate his growth. You know, uh, being in the professional environment among older, amongst older players and, and really having the pressure to, to perform week to week uh, is, is, is the next step for him in the process. It's definitely difficult and training, training's hard and it's tough, um, but it's good. But it, you always need the competition to expand your game and get to the next level.